So you have a full time job and now that you have a steady flow of income, you'll easily be able to accumulate wealth over time. Is that correct? Well, yes and no. Let me explain why. One broke some serious records. This year, it was the largest addition to India's billionaire club. 40 new members joined the ranks of billionaires. Many of these billionaires were first generation billionaires. What that means is anybody in their family before them were not billionaires ever. People like Falguni Nair, the CEO of Nika, are part of this list. And just like her, a lot of them started their wealth journey with salaries. But here's the catch. Salaries alone did not make them billionaires. Salary. If you look up the internet, it would say that it is defined as a fixed regular payment that is paid off on a monthly basis. But what's behind this definition is this. Are higher chances of employees getting salary hikes. Salary hike. Salary hike. Salaries are, in nature, a regular flow of income that you receive in the form of compensation that you receive for the productive time you put in a company. Emphasis on compensation. It was designed to cover your expenses that support your daily life. It was never meant to generate you wealth. It was simply a means to ensure that you work comfortably. I'm pretty sure at this point a lot of you must be thinking, so what? How does it matter? How does generating wealth matter? You can always save up from your salaries and that will eventually add up to massive wealth, right? Well, yes, that is correct in a way. But here's the thing. Savings is a way of conserving wealth, right? Conserving. It's not a way of generating wealth. Well, how does it matter? Because a lot of this conserved wealth will be eaten away by inflation. Now you must be thinking, what is inflation? Let me explain you with an example. Let's say in 2010, you had 25 rupees. Now this 25 rupees from 2010 would have bought you this pack of butter, which is 100 grams. Fast forward 12 years and the same packet of butter would cost you 50 rupees, twice as much. This is called inflation. It's when commodities such as butter become so expensive that it practically shrinks your money. Sounds terrible, right? Well, there's one way of fixing this. And that is investing, which is making your money make money for you. To understand how investing works, I called my good friend Harsh Agarwal, a veteran investor who achieved his financial freedom at a young age of 32. When I got my first check, I was the most happiest guy. And that's when my life started changing. I, I had a bank account where the money was coming, but I had no idea of what to do with that. I started investing in fixed deposit and I think I was getting about 6-7% back in 2008-9. And I was very happy with that. But that's where I learned about inflation. I learned about how, how putting your money in fixed deposit is not the best investment strategy. That's where I met my first advisor who helped me start investing in stocks, equities, mutual funds. I hired an advisor where I was paying a salary and he helped me to start investing in commission-free products. And not only that, I started diversifying my portfolio because there are so many investment products like mutual fund, equity in India market, equity in US market, international investing, AIF, especially uh, when, when you are making a lot of money, you can invest in alternate investment fund, which is available for people who can invest more than one CR at one go. All of this did not happen overnight. But if I have to think of one of that thing which changed the landscape of my investing, well, that was goal-based investing. I started investing based on the goals, the things that I have to do in my life. That could, that is my villa, that is my child education, that is my car. So all my all my investment was tied up to my goal based investment, and my fixed deposit, which I never which I never closed, became my emergency fund. I also took care of my health insurance, 
and that is to ensure that if something happens to me my family is taken care of now all this thing is bundled into goal based investing and asset allocation and this is something which you will learn either of your own or through your advisor once you do all this thing and this is exactly what i did to get into that stage where i say financially free after speaking to her i realized that wealth creation takes a lot of discipline and patience with the right asset allocation long term and short term goals anyone can start securing their financial future so maybe it's high time we started investing well anyway thanks for listening i'll see you next time